What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your Jan. I hope you look are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on how can Callum hudson Adoy get back into this Chelsea side? Captain America has been in scintillating form. So is Willian. The way he plays for Frank Lampard, he's looking completely undroppable at the moment. And the way Willian performed last time out against Crystal Palace, you can understand why Chelsea coach Frank Lampard absolutely loves him. So where does this leave Boy Wonder, the chosen one? He's recently signed a big new bumper contract and I suppose he was sold the story of you're the boy mate, you're gonna be the one. So we're gonna talk about that, we're gonna be talking about what Callum Hudson-Odoi brings to this Chelsea side that no other player brings and how he feels about the club at the moment when he re-signed, what he feels about Frank Lampard, he recently spoke about it and we might pull out a few stats to give you guys some perspective. But I want to take this opportunity to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Football Index. Football Index is a stock market for buying and selling shares in footballers. If you fancy yourself as someone who's got a bit of good football knowledge and you want to put it to the test why not check out football index where you can buy some players that you think are going to perform well and if they do perform well their share prices rise and you can sell them for a profit plus they can win payouts if they score or assist or do well in the media there's nothing else like it i love it click the link in the description to go check out football index and you have to be over 18 to use the platform right subscribe to football therapy if you're new click the bell notifications icon like the video help you bro out and all that let's get into the content before we talk about how Callum hudson Adoy can get back into the side and why he's not currently playing in the side, I want to read to you something that he said recently when interviewed by BT Sport. hudson Adoy was asked about him signing a new contract and Frank Lampard coming to Chelsea as a coach and if that had any effect on him signing his new deal. Callum hudson Adoy said to BT, Him coming here is a big feeling for all of us because he was talking about how he likes young players. And I had an idea in my head that if he comes, this would be great for us. As soon as he came, I thought, yep, that's it. I had a few chats with him and thought, this is perfect. I want to stay here. Which is just what you want to hear from your upcoming Superstar Academy graduate. So the fairy tale was set. Everything was in place. Callum penned a new deal for, I think, about 100k a week. He obviously sat down with a gaffer and he knew he was going to be a part of the youth revolution at Chelsea. But I'm sure he couldn't have suspected or imagined or preemptified Willian's form being so good. Obviously he would have known Christian Pulisic was to arrive in the summer for a big transfer fee and he would have sort of assumed he's going to play. You know, Eden Hazard was going, so he's like, okay, I'm probably going to be playing on the flanks with this kid Christian. Pulisic started the season in not great form I guess he got a couple of assists but he was a bit quiet and he actually got benched for a while I know I know for a multitude of reasons not just to do with form but the surprise package of the season is definitely Willian a couple of goals and a couple of assists but really it's what Willian's offering to the whole team that's making him such an invaluable asset to Chelsea coach Frank Lampard Willian's maturity know-how sort of professionalism seeing out games but most of all industry on and off the ball is just superb. I couldn't believe it after the Crystal Palace game recently. He just kept running into the 90th minute. This is the oldest guy on the pitch. He's in his 30s and he's got the best engine on him apparently. He's relatively press resistant. He releases the ball quickly and he's very good at making runs in behind as well as tracking back when he loses possession, regaining possession and just generally occupying a defensive position when Chelsea are um, out of possession. So this poses a difficult situation for young Callum hudson Adoy. As long as Willian isn't tired, he's going to be starting the bigger, more important games, leaving one wing a spot free. And at the moment, Christian Pulisic's obviously got five goals and two assists. So hudson Adoy is going to struggle maybe to get into the side? Well, not necessarily. The truth is, he offers something completely different to Christian Pulisic. Sure, hudson Adoy has yet to score in the Premier League this season from a few appearances, but he actually already has three Premier League assists. And these three Premier League assists work out to a goal involvement every 76 minutes, which obviously is a superb return. To be creating a goal every 76 minutes, and I think a couple of them were the winner, that's a really, really important uh, attribute, skill, statistic, metric to be offering this Chelsea team. And let me talk about player styles a little bit more. He's actually more, well, far more direct 
than Christian Pulisic in the way he plays. He's much more creatively direct as well. He makes 1.7 key passes per game to Christian Pulisic's 1.3 key passes per game. And actually, I think this number would go even higher if Hudson Odoi was in a little bit more of a space of confidence. I think Christian Pulisic is playing with loads of confidence at the moment, and I'm suspicious of Hudson Odoi's confidence being quite low. A good barometer of this is shots per game. A player with high confidence will take a lot of shots, like Christian Pulisic scoring goals, right? He takes 2.1 shots per game, where Callum Hudson Odoi, who let's remember is a goal scorer as well, is only taking one shot per game. In fact, through the last few years for both players, Callum Hudson Odoi is more used to scoring goals than Christian Pulisic. So for Hudson Odoi to be taking less than half the amount of shots than Pulisic is, that's a big indicator that he's low on confidence. So if he did score a goal or get a couple more assists and his confidence will rise, his more superior creative numbers I think would go even higher. But that's not me saying he's a better player necessarily than Christian Pulisic. They're very, very different players. Like, we've watched a lot of Christian Pulisic now. He likes to carry the ball and dribble and take a shot off. Obviously, he's taking more shots. Sure, Hudson Adoy is a dribbler too. He's kind of different the way he carries the ball. He dribbles with both feet. That's really interesting. But he's looking for a more direct pass rather than a shot. And he likes to play balls forward, where, say, Christian Pulisic likes to cut balls back or play horizontal balls. So Pulisic likes to sort of float with the ball a little bit more and maybe play the ball back. And he's almost like a more of a sorry ball player, where Hudson Adoy is more of a sort of point and square. And when he gets that first goal, I think he'll start taking more shots, Hudson Adoy. And like I said, they are very different wingers. Which makes you think, if we can get to the point where we can start both Callum hudson Adoy and Christian Pulisic on different wings and have them interchanging, both their immense talents can start combining and demonstrating how they are different stylistically and offering different things to the team. As it stands, Willian can't be dropped due to his industry. Now, I don't want to sell Willian short. He's a magnificent player. He's a very creative player as well. He makes a lot of key passes too, right? But in terms of what hudson Adoy and Pulisic can offer going forwards, Chelsea could really, really, really start dismantling teams if they both play and they're both feeling confident. As long as Chelsea are looking to play on the shoulder and get balls in behind, Christian Pulisic is absolutely your man. But if you're playing against a team that are camped in their own half and you need someone to get the ball to their feet, look up, see what's going on, do a little give and go and really wriggle between people, Callum hudson Adoy is your boy. Two very different styles and approaches, both very effective, one player probably higher in confidence than the other one. So, what has Callum hudson Adoy got to do from here to either dethrone Willian or Pulisic? Well, Willian's still in his 30s, so he might get tired, he might get a knock, and then both these players can start, or Pulisic might have his form dipping, or like I said just now, because they're different stylistically, if Chelsea are going to play a team that are camped in their own half, maybe you go with Callum hudson Adoy to try and unpick it. But if you're playing against a team who also like to play football when they might be in your own half, then maybe you play Christian Pulisic and you try and get him to run in behind, combine and score a goal on the counter-attack. But if Callum hudson Adoy goes away on this international break and plays for England and scores a goal or two, then that can't do him any damage at all. That will make Frank Lampard think, hmm, he's in form, he's got a bit of his confidence back. Let's just start him regardless to the opposition. It's important to note and remember that Frank Lampard's Chelsea is indeed a meritocracy. You know, when Christian Pulisic came back into the side, scored a hat-trick, he's like, well, obviously, I'm not going to drop you now. So if he sees a player playing well, he will absolutely give them their chance. And who knows, we might see all three wingers start. Remember, Barkley is a knock at the moment, Mason Mount keeps getting this niggly recurring ankle injury, and Christian Pulisic can comfortably play in that number 10 role in a 4-2-3-1 formation. So, Willian on the right, hudson Adoy on the left, Christian Pulisic in the hole, all three of those players playing in behind, say, Tammy Abraham, combining and switching. You know, for an opposition team, that's agony because you don't know what they're doing you don't know what the game plan is and you're switching it up constantly so that would be a really good prospect for Chelsea but still it's a nice problem to have for Frank Lampard and he's certainly got options but basically I wanted to let you guys know in this video 
the comments recently that Callum hudson Doy has come out with and how actually he's a very different player to Christian Pulisic and they offer very different skill sets uh, which could be useful for different opposition. But when they both get a little bit more experience in how Frank Lampard wants to play, they're both better off the ball, both better defensively, which they both can absolutely work on that part of their game. So maybe Frank Lampard can start to phase Willian out and Chelsea can fully complete the youth revolution. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know, get down in the comments below. Let me hear your thoughts and opinions. Who do you think should be starting over the other players? Do you think Willian's droppable at the moment? Do you think hudson Doy is still Chelsea's best, most creative player? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like the video if you've enjoyed the content. A couple of plugs, you can join the Football Therapy Discord server if you want to. The link is in the Patreon link down in the description. It costs a dollar. And you can talk to me and other members of the GOAT gang about football 24 hours a day. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. And also, if you've made it this far, Subscribe to my sister channel, Yan Plays. It's funny. It's about video games. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.